Okay, so here on the left we have a square of standard poly fleece, blanket fleece, the stuff that you can get at Joanne Fabrics for like $5 a yard when it's on sale. On the right is micro fleece, which is also polyester, but it is a much thinner fabric. You can see it looks a little bit different than the poly fleece does. Um, here's what happens when you drip some warm water onto the poly fleece. Well, under the micro fleece. See how it just it sits for a second and then it will soak right through. And then on the poly fleece over here, it just stays because it's repelling the moisture. It will eventually, eventually soak in. And if I were to put pressure on it, it would force it through. But as you can see, the micro fleece side where I dripped it. It has soaked through, except for the two little tiny drips. And this, I will have to force it, press it down, and it still doesn't want to absorb. So, here, let's do it again and see how it does. I'm going to use a baby food spoon. <laughs> See how quickly that spreads through. Now if there was something absorbent underneath instead of my countertop, it would start to look dry after a minute. This one it just it just sits. So that's how you can tell the difference. That's why it needs to be micro fleece if you want a wicking fabric and poly fleece if you want something to repel moisture.